I'm going to learn how to type really fast and I will give myself seven days to do it. If I'm able to beat Ali Abdal, I will get a new tennis racket from Ali. Probably I would be buying it for myself. But look at this beauty. Sorry, my old friend, of almost 20 years. Why would I or you want to have the ability to type really fast? If you are like me, you have some kind of interaction with a computer on a daily basis. You might be writing YouTube scripts or emails or do some basic Google searches. If you can increase the time it takes to do all that, Fast typing really becomes a huge time saver. You could get much more done in less time and you could focus on other fun stuff instead. First, I wanted to know how fast everyone else was typing. I found that the average typing speed is around 40 words per minute. Other sources like a study from the University of Cambridge point to an average of 52 words per minute. But the participants were likely people that were already interested in typing and Many had participated in typing classes in the past. If you want to be a professional typist, you would want to average between 65 and 75 words per minute, or higher, depending on the job requirements. The current world record was set by Stella Bajun. Pajunas. Pajunas. Stella. By Stella. And it is pretty insane. For two reasons. One, it is set to 216 words per minute. And two, it was set in the year 1964. So no one was able to beat her. To begin my journey to beat Ali's 156 words per minute, I needed to find out where I was at the start of this challenge. There are different types of typing I used in the past. Until the end of my early teens, I typed in the hunt and peck style. I typed each key after another. I only used my two tiger finger. I also looked down to the keyboard quite a bit instead of looking at the screen. Let's see how fast I got with this old method. For this, I will use the same site Ali uses, which is 10 fast fingers. Thirty-six, thirty-six words per minute. That's not too good, is it? To even have a shot of beating Ali, I had to change the method. At approximately 13 years old, my mom gave me a CD with a program Tip Top 5.0. And when I was thinking about that, I wondered, do I actually still have it almost 20 years later? So I searched in the most valuable box of all households and I actually found it. So with the help of this CD, this one right here, tip top five, I switched from using two fingers to using a let's say finger. With tip top, I learned the so-called touch type. When you touch type, you type continuously without looking at the keyboard to find the keys you need to press. So let's see where I was on the day one with the touch typing method. Fifty-three, fifty-three, fifty-three. That's not too bad, is it? But it is also not good. Now that I know where my starting point is, I have the feeling that the 156 words per minute set by Ali might be a bit too ambitious to achieve within seven days. But that's not a big problem because if you realize a goal is not achievable or it takes longer to achieve, you can always adjust it slightly. To have a more achievable goal within the given time period, I will introduce a cost price. Wilson. Is that okay for you? Yeah? Okay. If I get to at least 100 words per minute, which seems like a nice milestone to reach, I will get myself some nice new tennis balls. My balls are really soft already. Cost price. To improve my typing speed, I did some research on how to do that. There are two main points to focus on. Number one, the right setup. Recently, I have noticed that I have gotten very slow when it comes to typing. I believe the reason for that is that I got a new keyboard for Christmas as my old one became a slider. And I thought the new one looked kind of nice, but the problem is it feels quite squishy. I cannot really hit the keys with precision. I do not feel comfortable on this one. So I will not use it or the slider, but instead the keyboard of my laptop. Number two, practice a lot. I know it's important. I do, I honestly do. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. 
Nowadays, I mostly work with Excel files when writing reports for clients in my day job as a social auditor. And in contrast to when I was writing my master's thesis at the university, I just do not type as much anymore, except when I write very angry emails, of course. So which program should I use? Should I still use the TipCop 5.0? This one? No. As my laptop is not able to read this old TipTop 5 CD anymore and I do not want to use an external reader all the time, I will resort to more modern options. There are a lot of free versions online that you can try as well. Here are just a few. In the end, I decided to use Tip 10 for Windows because I like the clean look and the different exercises as well as 10 fast fingers to compare better to Ali. While practicing, I noticed that just like Ali, I was writing in English, but English is not my first language. Germans. So, to make the competition a little bit fairer, I will use my mother tongue as well for this challenge. While Hendrik is practicing, let's find out what else we can do to improve. Let's ask science. Science. What makes a good typist? Here's a study from 2018 where 168,000 people participated in a typing test. Correct motor execution is the key to fast typing. Slower typists make more errors and require a long time to identify and correct them. This is particularly detrimental for their performance, really. So if I do not make any or fewer errors, I will be faster as I do not need time to correct them. Thanks, science. But it is true. When I make a mistake and have to go back to correct it, it really destroys the rhythm. So, okay, focus on improving the level of accuracy. What else? Learn to type without looking at fingers. Your motor system will automatically pick up very fast trills for frequently occurring letter combinations like the, which will speed up your typing tremendously. The study also discovered a new practice in fast typing called rollover typing, which is well known among programmers, but has not been observed during everyday typing. Here, the next key is pressed down before the previous finger has lifted up. After re-watching Ali's video for the tenth time, it just occurred to me that I actually do not use any shortcuts. The most important one seems to be Control and Delete, for Windows at least. This deletes the previous word, so if you make a mistake, zigzag, you can quickly delete it without backspacing multiple times. And if you have longer words, it really is a time saver. After seven days of improving my setup, asking science on what to do and practicing every day for at least 30 to 60 minutes, this is the best recorded result. Was I able to beat Ali with his 156 words per minute? Within seven days? No. Do I get a new tennis racket? Also, no. Was I able to beat my previous self? Yes. And was I able to reach the milestone of 100 words per minute, which also sounds pretty cool? Yes, also, yes. So I will get a set of new balls. Nice. I was able to improve quite a bit and to become a better version of my previous self. And I believe this is a really healthy way of approaching new tasks and skills. You can set big goals, yes, but in the end, what matters is if you are able to improve yourself compared to your past version. Also, keep in mind that your typing speed vastly depends on the kind of text you type and also the language you type in. If I would write a scientific paper in English, I would be much, much, much slower. Same if I write anything in Swedish or Czech or Mandarin or any other language, okay? So keep that in mind. Hey friend, welcome back to the channel Striving For. In this video, I was striving for some serious typing skills. If you're new here, my name is Hendrik and I'm an international social auditor based in Germany. Consider subscribing and liking the video if you like what you saw. Would really appreciate that and thanks for supporting the channel. And if you already did that or doing that right now, but only then, here are your balloons. If you want some more, check out this video somewhere here and keep striving, my friend. Until next time.